So I got an old clanky the other day, and I left the door open as I usually did, and I put the key in the ignition over here, and there's no ding, ding, ding. And when I turn the key to the on position, I'll just kill all the accessories and that, there's no seatbelt warning dinger as well. You got some lights, some lights, and when you start it up, I know it's hard to see because of the sun. Look! Zero. You can hear all the clankiness, but it's all zero. Everything. Temperature gauge as well, zero. Speed doesn't register, and the gas doesn't register either. And you'll notice the odometer is also blank. Now fortunately, there's an easy way to reset this, but the problem is actually your instrument cluster itself. It's not a problem, most likely, with the rest of the wiring in the car. Now, first and foremost, you should go and check all of the different fuses in the car. You'll find in this little kick panel over here, right under the vent on the uh, driver's side. And, of course, there's a, um, there's a legend here. Let's see if that'll focus on it. Right there. And there's a few interesting ones. There's, uh, in the second row, Second column, gauge one, that's a fuse you want to pull and meter for continuity. Uh, third row, fourth column, gauge two, check that one. Maybe panel, just because you don't know what it is. Uh, check all the fuses. I actually metered every fuse in the box here, and everything is perfectly fine. But still, I get no gauges whatsoever. I'm going to show you how to reset this in just a moment, but something else interesting which is something you might just want to uh, keep in the back of your mind. I don't know if this will work on all vehicles. It does work on this one. If you were to go and pull the instrument cluster, and I'll show you how easy it is to do that, and disconnect the wires from the back, obviously, yes, your entire instrument cluster will be dead. But when it's disconnected, it also is not going to log any mileage. So that means if you have a car that's on lease that might be getting near its mileage and you feel that you're going to go over and you don't mind driving around without an instrument cluster, I did not tell you to go and disconnect it. Although, you might wish to play with that. Uh, at least in this vehicle, which again is a 2002 Toyota Camry, it not only uh, doesn't log the mileage, but it doesn't alert the uh, car computer, the ECU, uh, and let it know that this is disconnected or not working. This is an output device. Just like if you have a desktop computer at home and let's say you're rendering videos or something like that, so the machine needs to be on for a couple hours but you're not going to be using it while that's happening, sometimes people have been known to actually turn their monitor off. The computer keeps running just as well as it did with the monitor off. The computer doesn't know that the monitor is not there or not turned on, it's still outputting, but it just doesn't know that it's not being seen by anybody. So here's how you reset it. Very, very easy. On this car, you have to remove this trim piece. Now I keep this loose because I've been doing this periodically. I don't do it every time I drive, just every now and again to check how much gas I have. You want to get in here. Now you won't have this much of a gap because I, like I said, this is already out a bit but you just pry right here and it will come right out, just like that. Now I have a little alarm sentinel over there so I can't pull it out completely, but I can turn it around. And you'll see this is how it's actually held in, just by these little plastic spring clips right over in here and here and on the other side. You pull that out and you'll find two screws, one over there and one over inside there. You pull those two screws, which again are already out. I'll show you what they look like. They're right here. These are the screws that you take out. They're just regular Phillips screws. Now you can pull the instrument cluster from underneath. Just pull and it comes out and flips up just like that. And you can actually put it up here. 
you'll see there's two connectors. There's a little one and a big one. Now, the reset procedure. Oh, magically it started working for a moment. Interesting. <laughs> but how you reset it is you have to reseat that big connector. Uh, I recommend you do this with the key in the on position. Okay, so right now it's on lock, accessory, on. You don't have to start the engine. If you do, it's okay. And now, I don't really have a good way to hold the camera, so we're just going to try our very best here. And I found that generally the best way to do this is to put the connector back in. Oh, it was loose is why it actually worked. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here. Not too well. All right, let me get a better position. I'm afraid this is the very best I can do for you for a camera angle without somebody helping me or getting a tripod. Here's your connector here and the plug that goes in it. The key is in the on position. Do not have your seat belt on while you do this, otherwise you won't know. And what you do is you just go and put the connector in and listen for it to start dinging. Oh, now it worked. Just like that. Sometimes you have to wiggle it at a bit of an angle, but now that it's reset, just uh, got to tip it down the right way. There we are. And let me get the camera right here to show you. Now we have a flashing seatbelt warning light. Now we have a fully functional dashboard. You could see the engine was running not long ago and the temperature gauge is up from where it was. Full tank of gas as well and everything else like that. So now it all works. And if I go and start it up, you can see the tack now moves. Now obviously I'm not driving anywhere, but you can take my word for it that the speedometer will now work as well. This is, like I said, a temporary fix. The odometer is working now as well. You can see that if I hit the button, it'll show the mileage, which it has not logged for, oh, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight hundred miles now because it doesn't work. And that's it. Now, when it's not working, uh, you're going to have obviously no panel. You will still get some warning lights, and I'll show you what those are. Uh, down here as soon as I block some of the Sun Just like that. I'll put the key back on You will get an oil light. You will have your alternator light the airbag light also still works The ABS light. I'm not certain about the seatbelt light does not work when the dash is dead the brake light as you see there for the emergency brake or parking brake also will not work when the dash is dead now that is also a problem because the brake light doesn't just tell you you left the emergency brake on. If you have a problem with the regular brakes of the car, you will get a brake light if the brake fluid is low. Uh, you'll probably know well ahead of time when the car isn't stopping. So that warning light is kind of, a, you know, another story entirely. And again, you won't have any gas gauge, but if you know approximately how many miles you drive in a week and how often you fill up, for example, I fill up maybe once every two, two and a half, three weeks, something like that, depending. Uh, I know that if I go and fill up every week, just to be certain that I'm not going to run out of gas and you can happily drive with a dead panel. Now, like I said, this is a temporary fix. You'll see right now it's fine. Everything is good. You can take the key out. You can open the door, which I should do on a hot day like this because I'm dying. Put the key back in, it dings, everything works. You put the key on, the temperature gauge goes up, gas gauge goes up, everything here works. Your odometer will work, everything is perfect, okay? But after, on this car, 10 minutes, after you take the key out, you'll notice the gas gauge is still reading whatever it read before, which is a full tank, which I have right now. And the odometer also stays on. After 10 minutes, this is gonna drop down and the odometer will blank out 
and next time you get in the car after going into a store, then you'll put the key in and it'll be totally dead. You can play the game and reset it once again, but that's a big pain to do every time. The solution that I read online is to purchase a new instrument cluster. That also does mean that the cluster you get is going to have different mileage on it. So you'll want to make a note of that. Um, so that way you can get a good idea of what the actual mileage of the vehicle is. At this point with the engine clanking and the brakes are shot and the tires are bald and I really don't know how much longer it's going to run, I just live with it for now. But again, certainly an interesting, interesting problem and something interesting uh, that uh, you can do to temporarily quell the problem. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.